Hello, flipping through the channels, are we? Welcome to the Inner Sanctum of TVDays.com. Today's episode takes a look at a 1928 celluloid 35 millimeter film I restored from Lehman Brothers. Being the newspapers, I gather that the thing to do is to stay out of the market. In 1928, they were about to have an anniversary party, and they went into the RCA studios and filmed a party tape. Sound has just come in. This is all new and revolutionary for its time. And they must have spent a lot of money to do it. But they hired comics to come in and do some routines later to the stock market. Now this curve shows the sale of cuckoo clocks since their discovery by accident in 1158. And only you guys out there who know Wall Street can tell me what all of it is about. But that's what makes this film a little exciting. Just move back, all you people down near the stage, so I can see you better. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to welcome you here tonight to this, our annual gathering. I wish I could be telling you this in person rather than in the shadow. Of course, I'm assuming the party is actually being given. As you know, the decision as to whether or not to hold the party this year underwent a lot of changes. One day it was on, then it wasn't, and the third day it was on again. The official explanation was the unwisdom of holding it in the face of present unsettled conditions. However, I shall always believe that it was really due to fear on the part of most of you that you may have to listen to me make a speech. As I was about to say, I hope I am now addressing you. But I realize that I may be speaking to a janitor who's sweeping up cigar butts in an empty RCA studio. It would be just my luck, the one opportunity I have of talking and having my say without any fear of interruption on the part of, of the partners of Lehman Brothers. Personally, I feel that these parties have contributed so much to the spirit of the organization that it would be a great shame to omit them. We may have been wrong on Helena Rubinstein, but we're willing to back our judgment on one basic fact. You can't sell the spirit of this organization short and get away with it. Talking of spirit, I understand that these Apple fellows are buying stocks now and putting the market up. Reading the newspapers, I gather that the thing to do is to stay out of the market. Let's avoid speculation. Let's be conservative. Let's wait until the Bank of the United States takes over the Bank of England. Let's, above all, get someone else to write our investment circulars. They're too good. They're too vivid. They remind me of the man who advertised his car for sale and described it so appealingly that when he read his ad, he made an offer for his own car. That's what a lot of investment bankers have been doing with their own issues. Well, the moving picture photographer is getting tired. I can almost hear Herbert Lehman saying, Thank God Robert's not in politics. If he were and went out campaigning, he'd be sure to defeat his own candidate. By the way, have you heard that Herbert is now busy in Washington erecting a monument to the unknown Salvin? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that by the time I greet you personally, you will have forgotten this and have forgiven me. In the meantime, I hope you will have had an enjoyable evening. I trust, speaking for the partners, that we may be all long together, that there may, be, there may exist the same spirit of comradeship throughout the organization to which, through this annual dinner, we now do honor. 
Thank you. speaking. What do you want? Oh, hello, Mr. Diamond. How many names in file syndicate B? Just a minute, Mr. Diamond. Hello, Mr. Diamond. Hello. Hello, hello. Geez, wouldn't you think those bimbos would stay on the line? Hello, Mr. Diamond. Oh, hello, Gertrude. How are you, honey? He did? Well, did you change him? Well, that's your job, ain't it? All right, all right. I'll be home early. I gotta get Mr. Diamond back now. Goodbye, honey. Hello. Hello. Oh, Mr. Gutman. No, sir, I can't do it. No, sir, there ain't no more trains to Florida this winter. How about Bermuda? Okay, Mr. Gutman. Hello, give me the syndicate. Hello, Mr. Diamond. Milton Breck speaking. We was cut off. Yeah. Now, on them names, I figured there should be six in the drawer, but five of the plates are missing. Yeah. What? What? Wouldn't you know them palookas would want me to run off a syndicate list? Wrap the baby on the sixth floor. You'll catch a cold from this issue and more. Pack up your play toys and put them in sacks. Pop's going a golfing in bunkers and traps. Don't ask for more nickel or sweet Libby own. Play with your steel and your nice telephone. Go Kroger and Go Bull both look good to eat. What baby needs most is a book value sleep. But industrial alcohol is terrible. The consumers are saturated. Besides, the stuff burns like fire all the way down. Now, I think... I know, Alex, but it's dirt cheap at three for a dollar, almost back at pre-war levels. Just a minute, Alex. Hello. Oh, hello, Monroe. So you're bringing out an issue of Swiss Birdseed Corp. What? You want us to take a substantial interest? But my dear Monroe, I never feed mine. It isn't a bird at all. It's a kind of wooden dummy. It's no such thing. It's a bird that yodels. Your cuckoo. No, no, not you, Monroe. The bird, I mean. Just a minute. What about this bird seed corp, Alex? I've had one of my men look into it and draw up some charts. Now this curve shows the sale of cuckoo clocks since their discovery by accident in 1158. These other lines show the number of effective bird hours per yodel with and without the seeds. They prove the corporation is very, very sound. In spite of the noise abatement commission, I advise purchase. As Spinoza said to Kant, there's something Freudian about birdseed. When I was in Heidelberg, everybody was cuckoo. I mean, cuckoo conscious. 
An old economist once told me... Just a minute, Monroe. ...that he went into a little house, and there was a doorbell on the left side. No, no, the right side. What can we have it for, Monroe? 27? And there was a little canary bird singing to a cuckoo. And the cuckoo would raise his wings and say... I think you're... Cuckoo! Cuckoo! <laughs> Listen, Alex, how about this? I have a fine idea. Let's toss a coin. Heads we buy, tails we don't. Fair enough. But if we buy, we want 125% participation. Just a minute, Monroe. Uh, heads it is. We buy. But we... We haven't any ready cash. Oh, that's all right. We'll sell some of our AT&T. Yes, we haven't that letter. After all, we are only the files. We've cookies and crackers and smoking tobacco. But letters, oh my, how vile. It's only winter now, but come next springtime, it may show up in the meantime. Yes, we haven't that letter. My God, we are only the file. Miss Solomon. Oh, Mr. Hammerslow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what's that? Oh, the contract on the Swiss bird seed. Uh, you're in a meeting? Well, of course, Mr. Hammerslow. I'll do my best. I'll send it right down. Talking. Oh, yes, Mr. Hammerslow. I haven't that jewel tea contract. Oh, I've looked everywhere. Oh, was it the bird seed? Well, I haven't that either. Have you tried uh, the publicity department of Mr. Gibbs? Well, I'm sure if it had come up here, we'd have it. Yes, I'm sorry, too. Won't something else do? Hell, don't those guys on the third floor look around before they bother me. Oh, Emery Bryan, oh, Emery Bryan, have you got your salesman pepped and all in line? Oh, do they know just what to say, how to make each client pay? So we'll have the cash and have it here on time. Now, my dear Paul, now, my dear Paul, oh, with Miss Rimmer and your help, I cannot fall. Nevertheless, oh, there's no muddle. Call the boys into a huddle. To talk birdseed, Emery Bryan. No, no. Football, my dear Paul. Lehman Brothers stock cage. How about picking up that Swiss bird seed stock you subscribed for? What? He's on the way down? Thank God. Four fifty-nine, Amby. How about closing up? Wait a minute. Watch your hurry. Here he comes now. That's what yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. try All it. All right, try now, it. you just... Where are you from, my little man? J.P. Morgan. Did you ever hear of them? 
J.P. Morgan, one chair. Okay on Morgan for one chair. You got a check? It ain't certified. Well, what you gonna do about it, huh? How about it, Amby? One check from Morgan, uncertified, for $25. I better call Mr. Harold. No, we'll take a chance. Take it in. Okay. Get out of me, oh, wearing me out. Get out of here. Come on, I know what you want. Get out of here. Five PM. One share delivered. What a day. Well, hurry up and balance and we'll go home. Hello? Berlin speaking. Oh, yes, Mr. Harold. Everything is running very smoothly. We ought to have the cash balanced very soon. Oh, Mr. Harold, what shall we do with the 99,999 shares we have left here? Oh, very good, sir. What did Harold say about the 99,999 shares? He said to put them in a trading account and be sure to remind him to dump them in the morning. Now get balanced and we'll get out of here. Hey, man. In the morning. You told me you were the fastest man on the New York curb when you came here. Now, what the hell's the matter? If you get out of that chair and give me a hand, we might get somewhere. All right, I'm too tired. Come on, we'll go home and get Sack and Goldstein to straighten this thing out in the morning. Nothing very complicated there, gentlemen. Some damn fool added in the date. Happy days are here again. Blue skies are past, including Michigan. And the partners look like different men since happy days are here again. Now the issue, though, it almost died, was doggone near being oversubscribed. And our partners beam with joy and pride, since happy days are here again. Once more to the boardroom we will go, and watch Racketeer get his pile of dough. 
for each one of you may just as well know happy days are here again posted 648 telegrams and cables 1275 travel and entertainment 13248 overtime extra meal 71900 what my two million dollar monsieur where is she shall we go on mr arthur Discounts to dealers, 167,500. Options, 123,000. A tenant for Cuckoo Bird, 1,050. Bonus to salesman, $5. Stock subscribed but not paid for, $50,000. Rubber checks, 16,043. Circulars and advertising, 31,942. Blueprints, a dollar and a half. Entertaining president, Swiss Bird Seed Corp, two nights, $6,785. Telephone calls, Freddie Warburg to Dorsey Richardson, $428. Telephones, Warburg to the Follies Bears, yeah, 2,821. Veterinary services, Warburg's horse, shine at Cuckoo Clock, $3.13. Industrial department, French lesson, $675. Monty Francis entertaining irate customers, two cases at $150, $425. Total, $401,222. Profit from sale, one share of stock, $25. Debit balance, 401,197. Hello. Oh, hello, honey. Yes, honey, the market's a little bit better, dear. I, I mean, the market's a little bit better, honey. You know, that was my feel this morning. Oh, honey. We're having a big deal here. Yes, I'll tell you all about it when I get home. I I'll be home early, honey. Goodbye, honey. That was honey. Fairly, even my son's fierce 